My name is Kuhn Pittman. I'm born in Kortrijk and I was in US from 2006 till end of 2007 on a Fulbright Fellowship. I did my postdoc in Washington DC at the National Rehabilitation Hospital and at Georgetown University. The choice of my school was more related to the expert I met uh, some years before 2006 because I did a PhD in Rehabilitation Sciences. And I met one of the professors, uh, Professor de Jong, in a certain meeting. And at that meeting, we had a common interest on comparing healthcare reforms and healthcare programs. And that's the way how it started. And we looked for opportunities to have finance to get me over to the US to do some international comparison. So that's the main reason why I went to DC, not really mm -hmm. the school itself. It's quite some material you have to go through before you really can apply and, and have a good feeling about what the fellowship is about. So it's time, it's all time. And I was in that stage of my last year of my PhD, so it was quite quite um, much of work. But I would say start in time and uh, read all the materials. There's a lot of stuff out there that you can read through and that really helps you in the whole process. So. Um, and I must thank also my, ex my colleague in the US because he was also a food writer. He came to Holland several years ago, so he knew a bit the ins and the outs, so he was very helpful with that as well. No, not really. It was we added some goals to my research project rather than changing it. So it was really, really an eye-opener for me, and that uh, gave me a lot of opportunities to study more material than I anticipated before I came to the US. My focus was mainly on rehabilitation uh, after stroke, so that's a particular pathology. And there was more and more other indications that went to rehab in the US that I wanted to study. And uh, that was added to my or original research plan. So that was very, very interesting. I learned that uh, studying and working in the US, certainly in DC, was quite expensive, more expensive than I an anticipated. So I went one year before my, my official fellowship started, I went to DC to explore the opportunities, um, to have a, a home there and to have a, uh, an, an idea of the cost of living. And so I took some opportunities to, to collaborate and to take additional financing and I got in touch with certain people who could provide me some additional fees and uh, so that would help me, help me a lot. So I would advise to the future Fulbright fellowships is, have a look around and have a good estimate about the cost of living, certainly when you go to major cities, I think. There was a good social program of Fulbright uh, chapter in DC, so I, I got the opportunity to meet lots of other Fulbrighters there. So it gives you a very broad vision about research and studying in the United States with all kinds of nationalities, so, so that was really, really exciting. And people were very keen to, to learn how it was in Europe to study and to work. So also that experience was very, very happy for me to share my experiences here in the Europe towards the American colleagues. So it was one all positive experience at all. So no problem. Just do it. I mean, it's just so exciting. It opens a lot of doors, a lot of, uh, you meet a lot of people. And you learn a lot about your work, your, your research field and my, for my uh, situation now, but also about your personal life. I mean, when, you were, when, you, when you're away from home for a certain time, you really learn yourself as well. So it's, um, it's all positive. Dus uh, een Fulbright uh, zijn in Amerika is juist een enorme ervaring, zowel voor je professionele carrière als voor je persoonlijke leven.